Okay, so matrix A, and we are trying to find A inverse. So recall that uh, A, a matrix is invertible, A is invertible if and only if it's row reduced echelon form is an identity matrix. And how do we find the inverse? So in that case, you start from augmented A and identity and row reduce it. We know that the right-hand side is, uh, the left-hand side is going to turn to I. And then while you're doing the elementary row operation or the reduction, this identity will change to another matrix. Then that matrix be is the inverse of A. Okay, so in the examples, in the questions like this, we start with 28151001 and try to row reduce it. I would uh, do half of row one just to turn this guy to one. So that is one of Four, one over two zero, one five zero one. Then I have to get rid of this entry. So that is row two minus row one. This is one four half zero. Here's zero uh, five. My, this is one, and this is a negative half, and that is one. And now this is the next leading one. It's in the right place. I have to get rid of that one. So row one minus four, row two. This will give me a zero, one, negative half, one. Uh, this will be one. This will be zero. And then negative one over two times negative four is two. And then add it to one over two. This will be five over two. Negative four is 10. So this is identity. This will be the inverse. So A inverse is equal to uh, five over two um, minus eight minus one over two. And this will be um, one. What are we interested in? In the first row. So I picked the first row of this guy. And that is five over two. Oh, why did I change it that to eight? This is negative four, sorry. That was just a typo. That is four, I'm just copying that wrongly. So negative five over, five over two and negative four is the first row of the inverse. Uh, matrix. 